We will have to turn off the last instrument, and that will be the end of the science mission. And the two spacecraft will then forever orbit the center of our galaxy silently. On November 14th, 2023, Voyager 1 suddenly went silent. The old probe, drifting far beyond the sun's reach, began sending only meaningless streams of data. Engineers feared the worst. The failure was traced to a memory glitch inside the flight data system. The computer responsible for formatting every bit of science and health information the spacecraft sent home. If it couldn't be fixed, the mission was over. But the NASA team refused to give up. They decided to move the broken code into a healthy section of memory, rewriting the spacecraft's brain from billions of miles away. On April 18th, 2024, they began the dangerous upload. Each signal took 22.5 hours to reach Voyager and another 22.5 hours to return. Every command meant waiting almost two days for a reply. Then, on April 20th, a faint but steady signal arrived. After five months of silence, Voyager 1 was alive again. Well, there's hope that NASA could regain control of the lost Voyager probe after a heartbeat signal was picked up. To understand why this tiny whisper mattered so much, it helps to look back to the 1970s, a rare alignment of the outer planets. Something that happens only once every 175 years gave NASA a chance to explore them all in one flight. Voyager 2 was launched on August 20th, 1977. Normal response is normal. Voyager 1 followed on September 5th, taking a sharper, faster path. Just 13 days after launch, it took a picture of Earth and the Moon from 7.2 million miles away, the first family portrait of our home in space. It marked the beginning of one of humanity's greatest adventures. In 1979, the twin probes reached Jupiter. They discovered faint rings, new moons, and proved that Ganymede, not Titan, was the largest moon in the solar system. Europa's smooth, cracked ice hinted at a hidden ocean beneath. They also captured the first close-up views of the Great Red Spot, a massive storm that has raged for centuries. Using Jupiter's gravity, both probes slingshotted towards Saturn. The mission, once planned for four years, suddenly promised much more. Voyager 1 was sent close to Titan, whose thick orange atmosphere made it one of the most mysterious worlds in the solar system. That swing ended its path toward the outer planets, sending it upward and out of the ecliptic. Voyager 2 continued the grand tour. At Saturn, the Voyagers revealed hundreds of narrow, braided rings and discovered four new moons. One of them, Mimas, had a huge crater that made it look like the Death Star. Titan's haze was too thick to see through, but readings showed temperatures perfect for liquid methane to exist. After Saturn, Voyager 1 headed into deep space, while Voyager 2 continued its historic journey. It reached Uranus in January 1986, passing just 50,600 miles from its clouds. There, it found a strange, cold world, an ice giant made mostly of water, ammonia, and methane, with a rocky heart. Uranus was the coldest planet ever. In 1989, Voyager 2 reached Neptune and revealed a blue world. Later measurements show a more teal hue, with raging winds and dark storms. No other spacecraft has been there since. Before its cameras were turned off forever, Voyager 1 took one last look at home. On February 14th, 1990, from nearly 3.7 billion miles away, it captured Earth as a faint dot, a single pixel of light. The image became known as the pale blue dot. Soon after, both probes shut down their cameras and began a long, silent cruise into interstellar darkness. Then, something incredible happened. On August 25th, 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind stops and interstellar space begins. Charged particles from the sun dropped sharply, while cosmic rays from the galaxy rose. It was the first human-made object to leave the sun's bubble. Voyager 2 crossed six years later, in November 2018. The heliosphere, that vast bubble blown by the solar wind, extends around 11 billion miles from the sun. For decades, scientists thought it faded gently into space, but the Voyagers revealed a sharp, distinct edge. Inside, solar particles turn sideways and flow back. 
outside, interstellar plasma presses inward. The bubble's shape isn't smooth. It's squashed on one side and stretched on the other, like a comet's tail. Huge waves ripple across its surface, ten times the distance between Earth and the Sun. The data shocked scientists. The plasma near the boundary was ten times cooler and thinner than expected. No one knows where the missing energy went. They also found that solar and interstellar plasma mix at the edge, creating a chaotic transition layer. Even shockwaves from the sun can punch through, echoing far into interstellar space. The interstellar magnetic field turned out to be up to three times stronger than predicted, meaning outside pressure on our heliosphere is much greater than expected. These discoveries changed our understanding of how stars interact with the galaxy around them. Voyager's endurance has been equally astonishing. In 2022, while 14.6 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 1 began sending strange telemetry, rows of zeros, and the number 377. It was still responsive, but its navigation data made no sense. Engineers discovered a glitch in the attitude control system, likely caused by cosmic rays. They rerouted telemetry through a backup computer and fixed it. Then came the 2023 failure that silenced it completely. The repair in April 2024 was a miracle of patience and skill, akin to a remote reconfiguration across the solar system. But time is catching up. Each Voyager operates on three plutonium generators, and their power slowly fades every year. NASA hopes to keep at least one instrument active through 2025. After that, systems will shut down one by one. Yet even after the final signal fades, the spacecraft will keep traveling. Voyager 1 races outward at 3.5 astronomical units per year towards the constellation Ophiuchus. Around the year 4272, some 38,000 years from now, it will pass within 1.7 light years of a faint star in Ursa Minor. Voyager 2 moves at 3.1 AU per year and will drift near the red dwarf Ross 248 in about 40,000 years. Today, Voyager 1 is roughly 15.5 billion miles away. Voyager 2, 12.4 billion. Have they truly left the solar system? Not quite. The sun's gravity stretches much farther, out to the Oort cloud, a vast shell of icy bodies up to 100,000 astronomical units away, almost a light year. Voyager 1 will reach its inner edge in about 300 years and take 30,000 years to pass. Only then will it be free of the sun. Each Voyager carries a golden record, a gold-plated copper disc containing music, greetings in 55 languages, sounds of Earth, whale songs, brainwaves, and a message from humanity to the stars. It's a time capsule for anyone who might find it, perhaps long after we're gone. The solar system itself drifts inside a much larger cavity, the local bubble, about 1,000 light-years wide about 15 supernovae that exploded over millions of years, pushing gas outward and leaving a hollow space carved it. The bubble still expands slowly, and along its shell, new stars are born. The sun wasn't inside it at first, but entered it about 5 million years ago, as it orbited the Milky Way. The galaxy is filled with similar bubbles, overlapping like holes in cosmic Swiss cheese. Inside this quiet void, the heliosphere shields us from deadly cosmic rays. Without it, Earth's surface would be constantly bombarded by high-energy particles. The local bubble, being thin and empty, also gives us a clear view of the stars. If the space around us were dense with dust, the night sky might appear dark and blank. Some scientists even suspect the Sun's passage through denser galactic regions could have caused mass extinctions on Earth. Reminders that our cosmic environment shapes life here more than we think. Space seems silent, but Voyager 1 has heard it hum. Far beyond the heliopause, it detected a steady 3 kHz tone lasting almost three years, plasma waves vibrating through the interstellar medium. The tone barely changed even as the probe moved another billion miles. Closer to home, Ganymede sings with eerie chorus waves linked to its auroras. On Mars, the Perseverance rover recorded strange scratching sounds as it drove, a mystery still unsolved. 
and from galaxies far away, fast radio bursts flash in milliseconds, likely from magnetars or collapsing stars. The universe is far from silent. The voyagers themselves are marvels of vintage engineering. Each has only about 70 kilobytes of memory, less than a single smartphone photo. Their computers run 81,000 instructions per second, millions of times slower than modern devices, yet they still respond. In 2017, Voyager 1 fired backup thrusters that hadn't been used since 1980, and they worked perfectly. In 2020, after seven months without communication during antenna repairs, Voyager 2 received commands again and answered right away. Each probe transmits with only 22 watts, about the power of a refrigerator bulb. By the time their signal reaches Earth, it's one ten quadrillionth of a watt. NASA's Deep Space Network, giant antennas in California, Spain and Australia, listens to those whispers and turns them into data. So what was in that first message after months of eerie silence? No alien code or mysterious signal, just the heartbeat of a spacecraft that refused to die. Proof that after nearly half a century, humanity could still reach across billions of miles and touch one of its oldest explorers. So its instruments will fade, one by one, until only silence remains. Yet both voyagers will keep moving, through the Oort cloud, through the local bubble, and into the endless dark between the stars. In 50,000 years, the constellations will change, but the voyagers will still be out there, carrying a golden record and a record from a small blue planet that explored beyond the sun.